As you venture out onto the road, you'll very quickly start to realise that your street clothes are probably not going to cut it in the motorcycling world. So what you're going to find is eventually you'll realise that motorcycle specific gear is probably going to be the thing to do the job. Motorcycle gear usually has the right features that are going to help protect you when you need it most. You'll be riding in various different weather conditions, so we need to think about covering ourselves for those. In the heat, in the cold, in the wet, motorcycle gear is made to look after all of those aspects. So let's have a look at the main items we're going to need to think about when we get out there on the road. Now, the first thing that we'll talk about is the helmet. And this is actually the only item that by law must be used. There are legal requirements regarding helmets. You need to be made aware of those. So that'll all be covered in the course. There's various types of helmets and like everything with motorcycle gear, you're gonna have choices to make. Here we have an open face helmet. It leaves a nice open face, but has a nice visor on the front for eye protection. This one here, is what we call a full face helmet. So we have the extra guard around the front. The helmet is here to protect your head from impact. If you have a fall and you bang your head, then this is gonna to help to minimize injury. One thing for sure is when you wear a helmet on the road, you need to make sure you do it up. It's not much good if it's not secured to your head. They also need to fit you properly so that you're comfortable while you ride. If you're uncomfortable when you're riding, you'll get distracted and won't be doing a good job. You're also going to need to wear a pair of gloves when you ride a motorcycle. Sure enough, you'll realise that it can get pretty cold and your hands will get cold. So gloves do help to keep you warm when it's cold. But actually, the primary reason for wearing them is if you fall from a motorcycle, your hands are likely to hit the deck first. So you'll see motorcycle gloves will have inbuilt protection around the palms of the hands. Both of these pairs of gloves have really strong stitching and extra patches in the palm to protect if we fall. What I have here though is two different types of gloves as you can see, again, many choices. This one on the right here is actually a summer weight glove. It's a lot lighter, it's perforated, lets the air in so you don't sweat too much on those hot days. This one on the left is a winter glove and it's much more insulated, keeps your hands warmer in the cold. So we choose from one to the other during the year. They both have similar features in the fact that they are secured to your hands by some kind of belt. So they won't fly off if you're throwing your arms around. So every time you ride, you should wear your gloves. So the next item we're gonna consider is up top here. We're gonna need a motorcycle jacket. Motorcycle jackets are unique in many ways. The first thing we can point out is that the way that they're made is so that you're going to be more comfortable when your hands are outstretched to the handlebars. Other unique items are that it's going to have some built-in armour. So you're going to find around the arms and the shoulders and the back. There's hard panels that will protect you if you find your way down onto the ground. The piping on the jacket is also reflective, so at night time, the headlights will make it glow. Many motorcycle jackets come with a liner, so in the winter time, you have the warm liner, which happens to be waterproof here. In the summertime, you can remove it, so you're a little cooler in summer, a little warmer in winter. No other jacket does all these things, except a motorcycle jacket. The other thing to point out is, again, we have many choices. This is what we call a textile jacket. So it's made out of textile. This is a leather jacket, which is also a motorcycle jacket. All the same features, different materials. So it's a personal choice a lot of the time as to which way you wanna go or what kind of riding you're doing. Most of us like to wear jeans when we're out and about. So on a motorcycle, that's a natural choice. The thing is a normal pair of jeans probably won't protect you if you fall down. If you're going any faster than like 20 kilometers an hour, you're going to find your jeans will rip apart and then it'll be your skin on the ground. Motorcycle jeans are designed to take a little bit more punishment. Here's a pair here. So they have a lot of Kevlar built inside them. What that'll do is protect you for much longer before they break through. So if you want to wear jeans, that's fine. Just wear motorcycle jeans. 
The final part we look at is the footwear. And just remember when you're riding around, your feet are exposed, so it's quite easy to get damage. When you're choosing your footwear, again, let's think motorcycle gear. Unique features, they have a hard sole, so they'll take care of any impact from below. They have ankle protection, which is gonna help us if anything happens. And you can see here, we have a little pad, extra pad here for the gear change. So there's many features built in again to the motorcycle footwear that isn't shown in any other type of footwear. So let's think about getting motorcycle boots as well. Okay, it's so just a quick reminder. Just remember with helmets, you need to check the legal requirements and make sure that your helmet passes those requirements. Also remember that the motorcycle jeans and the motorcycle jacket will withstand abrasion much more than street clothes. So let's see if we can get ourselves a nice kit. Okay, you can see our rider here. He's got his head up and he's scanning. He's looking for hazards and other traffic. As he wants to join in, he needs to select the right speed to match the traffic he's going into. And you'll also notice as he goes to change lanes, we do a head check to make sure it's safe. When cornering, we'll be teaching you how to look well ahead, searching for any hazards that might take you by surprise. You notice our rider as he goes through the curve. With his body position, he's leaning in further than the bike. This is gonna minimize the lean angle on the bike, giving us more grip. We'll also show you the correct way to go through the corners. So you'll know the pathway at the beginning, the middle and the end of the curve, you will know how to position that bike. As well as this, we'll also know how to buffer for any other hazards that we see on the way through. Another thing we'll show you is how to correctly slow the bike down in time for a corner. We'll talk about the brakes and the gears and the steering to do a safe turn every time. We'll even talk about what you need to do if it goes wrong. If you're going through a corner and you need to stop, we'll show you how to do this.